the um, report outlines the objectives to be achieved through legislation and the other measures. So the committee has set out what it thinks the legislation ought to achieve. The language of the legislation, the structure of the legislation, is not for the committee to set out. Uh, the committee has also indicated in recommendations, you know, if you look at 12 onwards, uh, how it thinks the balance ought to be struck uh, between the various objectives, that it should break the virality of the falsehoods, it should be effective, uh, it should be credible, and there's got to be a balance between um, uh, stopping the falsehoods, which go public, and uh, being careful about purely private personal communications. So the um, committee has given fairly clear indication of how it thinks the legislation uh, ought to be structured. It's hereafter for the government to look at that and uh, work um, with the material that it has been given. Well, I think uh, even since the um, hearings in March, you would have seen that tech companies uh, have been engaging in discussions with uh, legislatures, countries around the world. And I think there is increasing recognition on all sides that uh, there has to be uh, responsibility on the part of tech companies and that governments have to intervene to ensure that responsibility. And we will, of course, engage with the tech companies. We have engaged them, we will engage them.